Hello everybody. How are you? Everybody okay? Did you have a nice weekend? I hope so. Did you do anything interesting? Well, you can tell me about it on Thursday. But anyway, it's Tuesday and it's time for another English class. Okay, so let's start. Today we are going to be using, first we're going to use the pupils book. Okay, and we're going to go to page 98. Uh, sorry, not 96, page 96. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay, so everybody open your pupils book and we're going to go to page 96. Okay, so that's unit eight, lesson one. All right, so it's the first lesson of unit eight. Okay, now this unit is called in cyberspace okay now cyberspace is uh basically online okay so on the internet right when you're on the internet when you're in the virtual world you are in cyberspace okay so we have a little text about cyberspace now before we before we have a look um it's a couple of questions Okay, what do you use the internet for? Do you use the internet for playing games, for listening to music, chatting with friends? Okay, something to think about. In what ways can the internet be dangerous? Dangerous. How is the internet dangerous? Maybe someone can see your personal details. Okay. Um, maybe you give some, some of your information. All right. Um, so how can the Internet be dangerous and how can you use the Internet safely? OK, safe is with security. OK, so maybe uh, you never use your name. You don't put photos. You don't use your personal details, things like this. Just something to think about before we start. OK, so. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to read the article. OK, so we have a big article to read and it says be safe in cyberspace. OK. Be safe, salvo in cyberspace. OK. Um, right, and it says the Internet is fun. True, but it has its dangers right? peligros. Here's how to stay safe on your laptop, tablet, and phone. Okay, so let's listen and read the article. Okay, we're going to listen and read. Ready? Be safe in cyberspace. The internet is fun, but it has its dangers. Here's how to stay safe on your laptop, tablet, and phone. Do I know you? You wouldn't talk to strangers in the street. You shouldn't talk to them in cyberspace either. You don't know who they are and they could be lying. Tell your parents if a stranger contacts you in a chat room, by email or by text, and never agree to meet anyone. Always be suspicious of emails or attachments from people you don't know. Someone might be trying to hack into your computer to steal information or to send you a virus. Research shows that last year, millions of computers were affected by viruses which deleted information. Do I believe you? Have you ever been offered a prize online for no reason? Did you think, that can't be right? If it seems too good to be true, it usually is. It is very likely that it's a trick to get your personal information. Personal information includes names, addresses, home, school, email, phone numbers, and photos of you and or your friends. This information could be used to hack into your other online accounts. Does this really happen? Yes, it does. Last year, a mobile phone company was hacked and personal information was stolen from 157,000 customers. And in the USA, more than 1 billion personal records were hacked. That's a lot of personal information. 
Don't enter competitions or join clubs without your parents' permission. Avoid giving your personal information online unless you have to. Do I want to share? Remember that photo of you falling off your skateboard? Or the one of your funny pets? You knew it would make your friends laugh, but did you really want the whole world to see it? Social media is used every day by millions of people for chatting, photo sharing and making arrangements. Strangers seeing your photos and posts could be embarrassing. But what if you accidentally give away personal information that a cyber criminal could use? Important information needs to be kept private. Find out how to change the privacy settings on any social media you use. That way, you decide who you share your life with. Remember, it's very hard to delete information on social media. Am I well protected? Social media sites often have a minimum age of 13. There's a reason for that. Some of the material on the sites is inappropriate for younger people. This means that it might hurt, frighten or shock you. Don't join these sites until you're old enough. We know how important it is to be kind and polite to people when we meet them. That's true when we're online too. If someone sends you something inappropriate, don't reply. Tell an adult. Finally, it is very important to choose strong, secure passwords. Have a different password for each website that you use and keep your passwords secret. Choose passwords which are difficult to guess. Use numbers, capital letters and other characters to make your passwords more secure. Okay. Very good. Did you listen? Did you read? Okay, hopefully uh, you could all understand. Okay. Um, but don't worry if you didn't understand everything. Okay. It's okay. Now today we're going to be looking at vocabulary. All right. Now the vocabulary we're looking at as are these words that are up here in the box. Okay. Attachment, cyberspace, delete, deleted, hack, inappropriate, password, privacy setting, stranger, virus, uh, stranger, suspicious and virus. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look in the text. Okay. And we're going to find these words. Okay. We're going to find these words. All right. Now they are already highlighted. Okay. But we have to find them and highlight them again. Okay. So can you see here? Yeah. Can you see? I'll highlight them. Okay. So Strangers, cyberspace, suspicious, attachments, hack, deleted, virus. Let's see, what other ones do we have? Oh, over here, got a couple. Inappropriate and password. Okay, so underline all these words in your text. Okay, underline them. Very good. Now, um, what we have to do is we have to think. Okay, what do they mean? Que significa cada palabra? Okay, so to find out, we have to read and we think about the context of the word. Okay, leamos la palabra y pensamos del contexto. Okay, para saber lo que quiere decir. So, for example, okay, um, let's have a look. Mm. Okay, so, for example, here, all right, password. Okay, la palabra password. Okay, it says it's very important to choose strong, secure passwords. Have a different password for each website. Okay, so if you have a different password for each website, okay, and it says use numbers, capital letters, you think, ah, password, contraseña, all right? So, 
All right, what I'd like you to do is read the text again and think what is the meaning of each word. ¿Qué significa cada palabra? Hay que leer otra vez y pensar la significancia de cada de estas palabras. Okay? All right, so now we'll have a look and we're going to make a note in our notebook. Okay? So, let's everybody open your notebook. Okay, and the title is In Cyberspace. So, right, so open your notebook and write the title In Cyberspace. And the date today is Tuesday the 12th of May. Okay, so write, copy this in your notebook, please. Now, we'll have the little title here, vocab. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the definition of each word and you have to guess what word it is, okay? Vamos a mirar la, las definiciones y hay que adivinar qué palabra está hablando, de qué palabra está hablando, okay? All of these words here, all right? And then when we, when we find the word, we'll write it in the notebook, okay? Let's begin. So, the first word is a computer file sent with email okay a computer file sent with email do you know the word the word is attachment okay so it's apply by email send a photo of yourself as an attachment so we're going to go in our notebook and we're going to write attachment okay and We'll write the definition. A computer file sent with email. A computer file sent with email. Good. All right, so copy this in your notebook, attachment. All right, and I'll put this in bold here. Good. Attachment. Let's have a look at the next word. Okay, so the next word is the imagined environment where internet communication happens. Okay, the environment, okay, where internet communication happens. Do you know the word? Cyberspace. Okay, cyberspace. So let's copy it in our notebook. Okay, cyberspace. And the imagined environment where internet communication happens. The imagined environment where internet communication happens. Okay. Good. Let's copy in our notebook. All right. So I have attachment and cyberspace. Okay. So, uh, when it says here, the imagined environment, um, el ambiente, uh, imaginado, online, okay? Uh, this is cyberspace, all right? Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, so this is a verb, a verb. To remove, quitar, right? To remove a computer file with words, pictures in it. Right? Borar is a better word, right? Borar. This in English is delete. Okay, delete. So we're right here. Delete. And we'll say, we'll just put to remove. Okay, and I'll put here. Okay. To remove. Delete. Okay. Ah, uh, no, I know. I remember the word in Spanish. Suprimir. I think. Let me check. I think it's delete. Let me look on Google Translate. 
Delete. Suprimir. Suprimir, yeah. I was correct. Suprimir, to remove. Okay, so that's delete. Next one. To get into other people's computer files or networks. Okay. So, for example, if you're on the computer and you enter into somebody else, into another person's computer, okay, what is this action? Cuando en el ordenador, cuando vas dentro del ordenador de una otra persona para robar cosas. Okay, what is the word? Okay, we use this in Spanish too. Hack. Okay, criminals hacked the bank's computer network to steal usernames and passwords. Okay. So let's write in the notebook. Hack. Okay. And it was to get into other people's private computer files or networks. To get into other people's other people's computer files or networks. Um, I'll put that here. Uh, just to clarify, a computer file, a computer file is, how do we say this? Computer file. Archivo, okay, archivo. All right, a computer file is archivo. A network is una red. Okay. So. I'll be this in the notebook. Next one. Not right or suitable for someone. Okay, so an adjective. Algo que no está correcto o no está apropiado para alguien. I gave you the answer. Okay, the word was inappropriate. Okay, inappropriate. Let's make a note here. In Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Yes, spell it correctly. Okay, and if it's inappropriate, that means not suitable for someone. Okay, I'll just put not suitable for someone. Okay. Inappropriate. I'll give you the Spanish translation as well. Ah, it's the same in Spanish. Inappropriate. Okay, good. Next one. Ooh, a secret word or numbers, uh, letters that you use to log into a computer website. So the word you used to log in, to enter the website. Do you remember? Password. Okay. Let's write it. Password. Okay. So. Secret word or numbers or letters. that you use to log in, log in as enter, that you use to log in to a computer, to, uh, to a computer or website. Websites. Okay. Good. 
password. Contraseña. All right, next one. Uh, four more. Okay. The controls on social media sites where you choose to share your information and posts or keep them private. Do you remember? That's privacy settings. Privacy settings. Okay. So let's write to privacy settings. Privacy settings. Now settings are I'd use those, right? In the computer, right? So privacy settings, I used it the privacy that. I think I said it correctly in Spanish. Okay. It's when you change your um you change how uh how your your you personalize uh your account so that uh so that you can hide information or show information privacy settings adjust as the privacy that um okay so we'll just put here okay the controls on social media sites the controls on social media sites where you choose to share share compartir to share your information and posts or keep them private or keep them private okay like this okay so privacy settings okay next one someone you haven't met before alguien que no conoces stranger All right, so. stranger someone you haven't met Alguien que no conoces. Okay, stranger. Okay, good. Next one. A feeling that something or someone cannot be trusted. Un sentimiento. A feeling that someone cannot be trusted. Que no se puede fiar en alguien o en algo. Okay, un sentimiento. The word is suspicious. Suspicious. Okay, suspicious. Let's write it. Suspicious. Okay, and the meaning a feeling that something or someone cannot be trusted. Feeling that something or someone cannot be trusted. Okay, good. All right, and I think this is the last one. A very small computer program that can damage or destroy files. That's a virus, right? Virus. It's the same in Spanish, right? A computer virus. Virus de ordenador. Okay. So we'll write here virus. Okay. And it's a very small computer program. A very small computer program. That can damage or destroy files. Okay, so all right. So we have all these words. Okay, attachment, cyberspace, delete, hack, inappropriate, password, privacy settings, stranger, suspicious, and virus. Okay, and with all the definitions. All right. So, uh, mira bien todas las palabras, 
okay, de vocabulario, puedes, puedes mirar por internet uh, los significantes en castellano, en catalán también, pero mira bien las palabras y mira que entendéis las definiciones también. Okay? Um, y, y una vez que lo, sabe, lo sabes un poco mejor, puedes volver a leer y escuchar el artículo que hemos leído. Okay? So once you have a better understanding of the vocabulary, you can go back and listen and read the article again. Okay? And you will understand better. ¿Vale? Se puede entender mejor después. Okay? Very good. So, make sure you have all of the vocabulary copied in your notebook. Okay? Just like this. Very good. Okay. Let's have a look. Time. All right. So, now what we can do is we can go to our workbook. Let's go to the workbook. Okay? So, Okay, so now in the workbook, okay, we have to go to page 82, all right, unit 8, page 82, and we just have two exercises, okay, about the vocabulary, all right. So, this is what I want you to do, all right, exercise one, let's have a look, all right. So, you have the definitions, you have to write the word. Okay, so when you do this, close your notebook and try and remember. Okay, cuando haces el ejercicio, será la libreta e intenta recordar las palabras y ponerlos. Okay, if you don't remember, if you don't remember, si no recuerdas, if you don't remember, open your notebook and look. Okay, and then close again. But try to remember the words. Okay, so. Uh, Pause the video and finish exercise one uh, on page 82 in the workbook, please. Okay, have you finished? Fantastic. Let's correct. All right, so number one, inappropriate. All right, number two, describes something you can't trust, suspicious. Three, something you use to log on to certain websites, password. Four, I'm just gonna read the answers. Four, cyberspace, five, privacy settings, six, stranger, seven, virus, eight, delete, nine, attachment, and 10, hack. Okay, did you get the answers correct? Yeah, um, make sure you correct all of your answers in your book, okay? Make sure you correct all the answers in your book. Good, all right. So now that you've finished, we can go exercise two, all right? And we can finish, all right? So exercise two, you have a text and you have to complete the text with the words from exercise one, okay? So with the vocabulary words. Complete the text using the vocabulary words from today, okay? All right, pause the video and finish exercise two. Okay, have you finished? Okay, let's correct, all right? So, I'll put the answers again. Number one, cyberspace, two, stranger, Three, privacy settings. Four, password. Five, inappropriate. Six, suspicious. Seven, attachments. Eight, hack. Nine, virus. And 10, delete. Okay. Did you get them all correct? Fantastic. Make sure you correct all of your answers here. Okay, corregimos todos. Okay, con todas las respuestas correctas. Okay. Um, now, if you, uh, if you made some mistakes, okay, put the corrections, go back and read the exercise again, okay? So it's so that you understand everything. El más importante es que entiendes uh, lo que está diciendo en los ejercicios, en los textos, okay? Pues, una vez que sabes las respuestas buenas, vuelves a leerlo, el ejercicio otra vez, y entenderá Entender todo lo que está diciendo.
Okay. All right. Very good. So if you finished exercise one and two, and you have all of the vocabulary copied in your notebook, then I think that is everything for today. Okay. So we can finish the class. Okay. Very, very good. I'm going to test you on the vocabulary on Thursday. All right. So remember the vocab. And yes, have a very nice evening and I will see you on Thursday. Okay. Bye-bye.